Hello, Rene here. This video today is not a review. I just would like to show you my record washing machine. At first glance, it looks like a regular piece of furniture to match the rest of my living room furniture. But the top is split in two halves and I can easily open it. and I'm ready to work. The two small tabletops come in very handy to place the records I want to wash on the one side and the disc washing liquids and other utensils on the other plate. And now let's look at the details. As I'm not a VIP, I could not afford an engine from VPI. Everything you see here is DIY. Cheap parts, easy to repair or easy to replace. For example, this is the platter of an old turntable and the suction arm is made of PVC tubing and an acrylic tube and the switches are from an electronic supermarket. This here is the power switch. This here is the switch for the rotation of the platter. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong soundtrack. Let's do it again. Rotation of the platter forward. Stop and rotation backwards. Here at the top we activate the suction. The suction can be fine-tuned with this knob here. The LP must be tightly locked down to the platter with this 1300 gram weight to ensure that it keeps rotating when the suction sets in. A rubbering protects the label from the washing liquid. The liquid must be spread out evenly and massaged into the grooves. For dust on the surface this is sufficient, but when you have an old and very dirty record, it is advisable to go into reverse gear and to repeat the procedure. Now the suction bridge can be put in place and do its miracle. The dirty fluid passes through a big hose into a stainless steel tank and from there it is distributed to three smaller hoses which lead to outlets under the trunk where the liquid can conveniently be drained if necessary. The suction power comes from a discarded household vacuum cleaner and the platter is driven by the windscreen wiper motor of an old truck. This monster here was custom built for me 20 years ago and it never failed, it never let me down. I wonder if a washing machine from VPI or Project would have been as durable. I have always been satisfied with the results of my machine and I would not have been able to enjoy my vinyl collection like that. Over the years I bought more and more dust magnets and most of them would be a torture to listen to. After a thorough wash 
they can sound almost as clean as a CD. Only in a very few cases I had to surrender. There will always be one or the other exotic LP that remains a hopeless case. Here a very rare audiophile German pressing which after three cleaning cycles left and right is still rustling and crackling like the fires of hell. Before I produced this video I was eager to update my market expertise and I was so glad I did not have to make a purchase decision. The more vinyl is declared dead the more new products are produced and offered all the time including record washing machines. And now dear subscribers and visitors it's your turn. How do you clean your records? It would be interesting to learn what devices you are using. Please share your experience with us in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Bye bye.